Hi there, beautiful people. Welcome to day number six of my 30-day nail growing challenge. Um, this is where I'm going to try to not bite my nails for 30 days because I'm a chronic nail biter. Um, one thing I have discovered is when you're trying to grow your nails out, uh, there's dead skin around your nails. And it's also the cuticle here. But um, first of all, I just want to say thank God for these clouds. Thank God for the rain. We've needed it due to all this crazy ass weather. Um, I'm not really looking forward to the eclipse coming up in a week. And I hope that it gets worse with the rain during the week because if it gets worse and it comes and it's like pouring down, it's going to discourage people from coming here. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm praying for that because I don't want 8 million people in my state. <laughs> I know that sounds selfish, but um, it's just an eclipse. It's not a spiritual event. It's just a solar event. And, you know, personally, I don't give a shit about it. Um, a, 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 an event like this should not prevent me from getting to my job or getting prevent me from getting to where I need to go. So I'm really praying that there is thunder and lightning and downpours all week. And I hope that the, I really hope that the downpours and thunder and the lightning happen all the way into the, all the way into the weekend for two weeks because I am not going to have this. I'm not going to have this because I'm sorry. People are making a big hoopla about this, about this uh, eclipse. And what they need to do is, if they want to see an eclipse so bad, they could go to NASA.com or some bullshit and stay the fuck out of Oregon. Because I'm so sick and tired of all these people going, Oh, I want to see the eclipse! I want to see the eclipse! Yeah, well, guess what? If you drive down to Salem and you leave, like, right after the eclipse is over, guess what, bitch? It's going to be a 10-hour drive and I won't feel sorry for you. So, uh, anyway, my max is coming and I'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm here at the uh, Portland Stands Against Hate rally here in front of City Hall. And um, there's a lot of people here today, especially after what happened yesterday. And uh, the crowd is very silent. And it's a somber tone, so. But there's a lot of love here too. Um. Start us out in the memory of, as uh, Andy and Ruben started us out. It was the acknowledgement that Portland was built upon the traditional lands and villages of the Multnomah, Kathlemet, Clackamas, Tualatin, Kulali, Kalafuya and Malala tribes, as well as the other indigenous peoples and the lands around the confluence were abundant sources of salmon, wapato, and other sustenance. This place was central to a vast trade network. The original custodians of this land were forcibly removed to the Grand Ronde Reservation in 1854. In the winter of 1856, other native peoples were gathered near present-day Medford and forced to march over 263 miles to this new reservation under the force of U.S. military officers. This became known as the Grand Ronde Trail of Tears. These tribes and bands became known as the Confederated Tribes of the Grand Ronde. And nearly a century later, the federal government terminated 61 tribes in Western Oregon. Their lands were ceded and the tribal members were given a bus ticket into the city. It is said that more Oregon tribes were terminated than those in all the rest in the of the nation. The members of these tribes joined those that refused to leave and those that were still finding their way to form the ninth largest urban Indian population in the country. We wish to show our respect and gratitude to elders past and present and emerging. And we thank Ruben and Biggie for being with us today. Let me call forward. My Facebook feed today sent me a meme that I posted there three years ago. It said, God doesn't give you the people you want. God gives you the people you need to help you, to hurt you, to leave you, to love you, 
and to make you the person you were meant to be. And I thought, <clears throat> what if these times were upon us so that each and every one of us could be the person we were meant to be? Today we hear, yesterday we heard, all lives matter in the same breath as Jews will not replace us. And we saw the salute that accompanied the killing of six million of my people and millions of Roma, queer, people with disabilities and political resistors. As a person who embodies three of those terminated identities, I know that today we are all in this together. Black, Jew, Muslim, Native American, person with disability, refugee, immigrant, which we are all in this together. Those who have been asleep while others have suffered for centuries are awakening to this truth. And again, I say, what if these times were upon us so that we could all become who we are meant to be? What would that mean for you? For me, and maybe for some of you, it means that person who in the face of danger combats adversity through impressive feats of ingenuity, bravery, or strength. The time for slumber has passed, and we must all be champions for racial, economic, healthcare, education, workplace, and restorative justice, or this nation will lose its soul. The time has come when we must put our bodies on the line. And by that I mean show up when we are afraid. I mean show up when we are afraid. To say no to white supremacy and white nationalism in all of its forms. History calls us to be accountable to the past accountable for the horrors and mistakes of the past by ensuring that it does not repeat itself. My people have a saying that perhaps you have heard, never again. Try that out with me. Never again. Again. Never again. Destiny calls us to be champions for one another, champions for the present and champions for the future. In November, I said that this administration had come into office because it represented the world's opportunity for a do-over to make sure that never again what happened in Germany in the 1940s would come upon this globe. And I stand by that sentiment. We need to show up even when we are afraid champions for today and champions for the future Amen. there will likely be songs later which we can all sing along to but for now i just want to lay this one down and if you know it sing it along with me <clears throat> this is my fight song take back my life song prove i'm all right song my powers turned on Starting right now, I'll be strong. I'll play my fight song. Slightly changed words here. And I have to believe that everyone here agrees that we've still got a lot of fight left in we. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm all right song. My powers turned on. my fight song and I have to believe that everyone here agrees that we've still got a lot of fight left in we
I'm going to give the mic back to Jamie. And what we have planned is we've got just a few speakers lined up, and then all of you have the opportunity to speak. And Jamie will give you some uh, information about how you can make that happen. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Deborah. Looking for the biggest crowd of black bodies still in town. Call it what it is, sir, while they wear your hats and chant your name. So I'm here at the rally. It's been a very peaceful rally so far. Uh, quite a few of us got to speak and get our feelings out and um, it's been pretty awesome. And here's this table right behind me. There's these lovely ladies that have been making sandwiches for us all day and giving us water, making sure that we're hydrated, which is really super cool. And um, they're the, uh, I believe they're called the uh, Portland Snack Block. So um, I'm gonna try to find them on Facebook. This is Larry Peterson. Hey, I'm just standing here with an encouragement, and that encouragement is, uh, I kind of heard it earlier, I'm speaking to my ethnic group right now. Well, beautiful people, it has been a super, super long day. I'm glad that you were able to hang out with me, especially when I have been on the go since 8 a.m. this morning. Um... Now, the reason I felt like I had to show you the Peace Rally in Portland is because, well, I feel that is really super, super important because, you know, we need to prove that love trumps hate and it's really important, especially right now. So now that we've come to the end of another video, uh, you know what to do. Like the video. Give it a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section below spread the love hit the share button also like what i'm doing on my channel hey hit the subscribe button and if you want to be notified as to when i will be uploading a brand new video it will be every single day for the next 30 days and to be notified ring my bell because you know what i like it when you ring my bell and if you want to follow me my other social media circles such as twitter Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. You could do so all at one place at fatmiddleagedgingerpdx.weebly.com. Well, folks, I'm signing off. I'm heading to bed. But uh, until tomorrow, be sure to stay healthy, stay beautiful, and most of all, please, please be good to each other. All right, folks, have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>